What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and I am that props girl. And today I am going to be sharing with you something that I don't think I have ever talked about on my channel before. I'm going to be sharing my journey about how I got into theater in the first place and a little bit of backstory to who I am and how I got into the realm of props. So if you are keen to see that, then stick around. Be sure to smash the like button because it lets me know you want to see more content like this as well as consider hitting that subscribe button and bell so that you don't miss a single one of my uploads. Plus it also helps me to grow on the platform. I'm not one who is very good at telling a short story. So get yourself tea, a coffee, a beverage of some sort, sit back and let's have a little bit of a chat. I was always a kid who was, you know, acting things out and I was playing pretend and I was sort of like, even I'm an only child, but when I would play pretend with, you know, other people, I was sort of like the director and I'd be like, now this is where you would say this and this is where you would say that. And, um, and my dad was always saying like, oh, you really need to do drama. So I did drama when I got into uh, year nine at school. And um, then in when I was in year 10, so in 2011, yes, I did my first musical. Now, I had never done anything like this before. It was totally new to me and I absolutely fell in love. The irony is that that musical was staged at the theatre I now work in. And I can still remember to this day the moment I walked in through stage door into the backstage of the theater and I just was like this is like Disneyland this is the place that I want to work this is, I never want to leave here and it's an absolute honor and privilege to work here every day but I digress but so I did this show and I was like oh my gosh and so I became obsessed with musicals and that sort of thing um, and my grandparents really loved musicals and I loved them too and I'd love them before then so my grandparents got me into loving um, Julie Andrews and so they bought me videotapes of the sound of music and um, My Fair Lady and I watched them non-stop and then after I did this musical I was on the hunt again to find out musicals and that sort of thing and then I discovered Hello Dolly and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and Singing in the Rain and all those amazing shows and my love for musicals just grew and grew and grew and I started to really enjoy um really old school shows and like anything goes and all of the older ones and I think it's probably because it just reminded me of my grandparents but I wouldn't say my knowledge of theatre was huge and then in 2012, I was in year 11 in school and some schools in Australia offer um, what's known as an entertainment course. And basically it's a school based course, but you, but you can also do it through TAFE and it basically you end up with a um, certificate three as a qualification and it's in like live performance and events. So you have to do work placement and all that sort of stuff. Um, throughout your school time so my school offered it and I did it because I was like I'd already had some experience you know doing lighting and that sort of thing but on a very 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 small scale um prior to this point and so I was like yeah I think I want to do that part of the work placement was um when you were in year 11 you would be the stage crew for the musical that was on at the school if you weren't in the cast now this particular year um the school that I went to was a kindergarten to year 12 school and we had the three sub schools of junior school middle school and senior school and on alternate years middle school and senior school have their musicals this was a middle school musical year and so I did work placement on a production of Annie Junior and it was the first time I'd ever done anything and my teacher saw something in me I, I don't know what it was and he said I think you are really organized and you're really good at like gathering people together and all that sort of stuff I think you'd be really great managing our props um is that something you'd be interested in and I said yeah I think so uh, not really knowing that I was gonna you know base a career around it um and so I I did that and I actually really enjoyed it and I found that I had an aptitude for it and so I was asked to come back and do the next few shows and I graduated school and then I was asked to come back and still manage props and I still do that almost I think what year is it? 20, yeah, 10 years later, I'm still doing props with the school. And I honestly can't believe that it's, I haven't lost count of how many productions it is now, maybe like 17, 18, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, basically, so I started 
doing props with the school and I did that for quite a while actually before I got my job uh, where I am currently. It was kind of something that I would do once a year and I would just do it with the school and then I got my job at the theatre that I work at and I started doing some technical work and I really enjoyed making props and my props became better because I started to research more and, and I learned a lot more and and I discovered that I really did have a, a natural gift for this and it was something that I wanted to pursue and so in 2019 I was then asked to do props for a couple of other companies uh, and so I went and ventured outside of the realm of the school that I was working with and that was really exciting you know to sort of be headhunted in a way and then the same thing happened in 2020 but then the pandemic happened so you know um it was it was a time nobody enjoyed the pandemic i don't think but because theater just sort of disappeared and i was lined up to do a lot of shows in 2020 but theater just vanished and so i started this channel and it's been going ever since and it's evolving and changing but you know it keeps me on my toes in 2021 i got headhunted again and i worked for a few other different companies and I've just sort of made my way around the traps here in Newcastle and it's been really exciting. I I really am hoping to sort of branch out and spread my wings at some point. I'm not quite sure what that's going to look like. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to end up. Theatre is such an interesting place to be and I have experience in other areas as well such as administration and so there's a lot of different tasks and roles within theatre that I, I really hope one day that I can find a role that really encompasses everything that I enjoy. I'm also really interested in mental health as well and currently doing some studies in that area. So yeah, it's a whole whirlwind of everything but that's kind of a brief summary of how I got here like in terms of getting into theatre so I mean honestly I think the best thing is to put yourself out there either in drama or volunteer at a local theatre company and just like being in that environment is so much fun you learn things you meet amazing people and it's just it's one of the best like hobbies if you're looking for a hobby to do like theatre is such an amazing thing to do and if you want to pursue it as a career it's a really rewarding career it's definitely a very um draining on your heart and your mind uh, but it is one of the most rewarding uh sectors to work in in the entertainment and the arts so i hope you enjoyed this little backstory of mine and hit the like button if you did leave me a comment uh, i'd love to know more of your stories let me know in the comments and hit that subscribe button and bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads and i'll see you guys next time bye